Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Stephanie with Aloha Dope. So today, I am going to go over my budget for my paycheck from October 26th to November 8th. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a breakdown of exactly how my budget works for the two weeks. So basically the top parts of everything is what I have currently in my debt snowball. And I can go into more detail of what a debt snowball is on another video. And if you guys are interested in knowing more about it, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will work on making a debt snowball video for you. In a nutshell, what you do is you list all your debts from smallest to largest and then you attack the smallest one first and so forth until all your debt is paid off. So the whole top part is basically what I have currently right now in my debt snowball. Here's just my cell phone bill of $54. I do have uh, my internet which is only internet we don't have television and that comes out to 68 and then my student loans um, with Navient is 170 um, I do have my car payment and my child care is blocked out for personal reasons the other thing that I noticed that I actually leave out um, I don't know why I have been is just what my rent is so if you guys are curious on to knowing how much we pay for rent that is $14.75 a month. <clears throat> and then on the next paid check, we do the um, utilities. So after all these are done, I take the rest and I kind of trickle it down to um, expenses and then my sinking funds. So my expenses don't change. We just do grocery budget of $200. Gas is for my vehicle, um, which is $60 for the paycheck. This week or this paycheck, we're not going to actually fund our vape fund, which normally I put $60 into it. But this week we're not funding it. And then our household is going to be 40. Normally it's 20, but I'm moving it up to 40 because like I said in my last video, as soon as I started doing the cash budgeting, we started running out of everything. So I upped that one a little bit since we're not funding our vape. So my expenses is only going to be 300 for this paycheck. So let me go ahead and start stuffing those. So this is my grocery envelope. We are clean out of groceries, um, grocery money. So I'm going to put 200 into that. So. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two. Into groceries. Next is going to be gas for me, and I am clean out of gas. I actually need to fill up my tank today, so I'm going to be doing that for sure before I go to work. So sixty dollars there. And for my vape, we actually have money left over. So I've got 20, 40, 50, 5, 6, 7, 8. We got 58 in there. We're not funding this because that's going to be more than enough. And then household, I have $3 to 3 left over. We're just going to roll that into this pay period. And so 40 going into that. I'll have $43 for our household. Okay, so next will be my sinking funds. And on my sinking funds, I do have $10 this paycheck going towards car maintenance, $17 towards the kids' clothes, $8 towards clothes for me, uh, $17 for Christmas, $17 for birthdays, which are just my kids' birthdays because I don't do anything for mine, uh, $25 goes to travel, $5 for my kids' school, uh, for back to school next year, $5 towards my boyfriend, $2 towards my car registration, and $10 towards toiletries and makeup. So this check is getting 116 so car maintenance will be 10 so I've got 30 dollars 
going in there. Kids clothes will get 17. This out. I do have to actually start putting um, like a piece of paper on the back so I can keep track of what I've got in there and I'll do that eventually. Close for me will get eight. Christmas gets 17. Birthdays will also get 17. I should put kids' birthdays down there. My travel will get 25. Ah. All right, fine, let's take it all out, fix it. <laughs> to school for the kids is going to get five. It's hot. Oh, no, that's not Tyler. Oh, give me a second. That's in my wallet. All right. Sorry, guys. That guy's in my wallet. I totally forgot that I'm keeping his separate because I don't want him to know what I'm putting aside from. So he's getting five. Um, we have a safe and I just, I keep all the money in the safe and he has a key to it. So I don't know, I don't want him to know what's in his um, fund. All right. My car registration is only gonna be $2. Like I was saying in my last video, luckily it's not really very much money for me to register my car. So I don't really have to put that much aside. And then toiletries, makeup, boxy charm, which I've already decided to be, is going to get ten dollars. So twenty-five, in there. All right. So these will go back into my safe, except for Tyler's. Will go into my wallet. These will go back into the safe, as well as these, except for I do need to go a little bit of shopping. So I need to get gas and household stuff. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me for this week's uh, cash envelope stuffing. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you guys enjoyed my video, hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you guys can get notified anytime I upload videos. And I do upload my um, budgeting videos every other week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.